So I developed a study to look at the addition of immunotherapy to standard chemotherapy in patients who have resected colon cancer and are found to have positive lymph nodes. The treatment duration of the immunotherapy was a total of one year, and it's given in combination of chemo with chemotherapy versus just standard chemotherapy alone. And after three years of follow-up on this trial, we observed that there was a 50% reduction in the recurrence and death in patients who received the immunotherapy treatment arm. The findings of the study really indicate that the addition of immunotherapy to chemotherapy is much more effective at eradicating microscopic tumor cells that are left behind after surgery and which are responsible for recurrence and spread of the cancer. So immunotherapy alone tends to be much less uh, toxic than giving cytotoxic chemotherapy. But here we're giving chemotherapy and the immunotherapy together for six months but the immunotherapy is given as a single agent for an additional six months. We'll have side effects related to, to chemotherapy, mm -hmm. but we're not seeing that the immunotherapy uh, in, you know, appreciably increases toxicity overall. Mm -hmm. And most of the side effects we see are anticipated. So this was a phase three trial, which means that we compare the experimental arm to the standard treatment and results from phase three trials are regarded as definitive evidence. The data from this study will be shared with the um, uh, NCCN, which establishes guidelines for treatment of colon cancer, with the request that they update the guidelines to include these data. And the sponsor of this trial uh, will also submit the results to the FDA to obtain approval of their agent, atezolizumab, in combination with chemotherapy in this particular patient uh, group.